Yan Matzleger, the black man who revolutionized the shoe industry. Yan Matzleger was born on September 15, 1852 in Suriname, Dutch Guyana. His father was a Dutch engineer in Suriname completing Dutch government duties during the time of Yan's birth. As a child, Yan showed the willingness and ability to repair broken equipment while visiting his father's job. At the age of 19, Yan left home to travel the world. He would work aboard an Indian merchant ship for two years helping to satisfy his urge to see the world. After returning home from the Indian ship, he moved to Pennsylvania. Yan spoke very little English when he moved to Pennsylvania, but with his mechanical skills, he would remain employed. After finding work with a cobbler, Yan gained an interest in shoemaking. His new interest would take him to Lynn, Pennsylvania, the capital of shoemaking at the time. He would earn an apprenticeship in the shoe factory and was a sewing machine operator. Special shoe sewers, known as lasters, were held in high regard within the shoe factory. Their job was to sew the upper part of the shoe to the sole of the shoe. Because their job was so important, they charged a higher price to work, thus driving the price of shoes up. Only 50 pairs of shoes were able to be made in a workday, which also contributed to the high prices of the shoes. Yan took it upon himself to study the English language in his free time. This allowed him to read English and study the subjects of physics and mechanical science. Yan taking the time to educate himself would help improve his life more than he could imagine. He believed that he could create a machine that would sew the upper portion of the shoe to the sole of the shoe, a dream he would realize later in life. Yan would create several inventions that were stolen by so-called inventors who profited from his creations. Yan was quietly focused on creating his shoe lasting machine, so his misfortunes were not a burden to him. After carefully studying the hand motions of the shoe lasters, Yan slowly learned how to sew the sole of the shoe to the upper portion of the shoe. His goal of creating a shoe lasting machine was becoming clearer to him. He would slowly build the machine over time despite having no funds and a lack of resources. He relied only on materials he could find to create his machines. The hand lasters working for the shoe factory learned of Yan's plan to create his machine and began to bash and discourage his work. They were in fear of losing their jobs. As more and more people learned about the shoe lasting machine, Yan received various offers to buy the machine. He rejected the offers which helped him learn the value of his creation. Because of a lack of resources, Yan sold 66% of the interest of the machines. This move allowed him to complete two other models of the machine and apply for a patent. The patent office could not believe someone was creating such a machine. So they sent an employee to review Yan's lasting machine. In 1883, Yan Matzleger received a patent for his shoe lasting machine and then improved on it to be able to produce 700 pairs of shoes in a workday. Yan died in 1889 at the age of 37 due to tuberculosis. Before his death, he revolutionized the shoe industry by improving shoe production and lowering prices. Because the shoe was not affordable for the average American, the shoe industry was able to grow into the behemoth that he is today. Mr. Max Leger allowed his imagination to improve his life and change the lives of people around the world. Yan Max Leger, we proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, make sure you visit my website, wwwonshoulders onecom There you can support my Own the Shoulders book series. You can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com backslash OTSOG. And you can hit the super like button under this video as well. I love you all. Make sure y'all catch the next video.